Several ducts connect the accessory organs, the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas, to the small intestine. These ducts deliver secretions necessary for completing the chemical digestion of food so it can be absorbed into the blood and lymph. Bile is produced by the liver. It contains bile acids needed to emulsify or disperse lipids so they can be digested more efficiently by pancreatic enzymes. Bile exits the liver through the right and left hepatic ducts. These join to form the common hepatic duct, which merges with the cystic duct from the gallbladder to form the common bile duct. The common bile duct opens into the duodenum in a small raised area called the major duodenal papilla. When the small intestine is empty, the opening into the duodenum is closed. Bile then backs up into the common bile duct, the cystic duct, and finally the gallbladder, where it is stored until it is needed. When a large amount of bile is needed, such as after a lot of fat has been consumed, the gallbladder contracts and ejects bile into the cystic duct. The bile then travels back down the common bile duct and major duodenal papilla into the duodenum. The pancreas secretes crucial enzymes for digesting lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates. Pancreatic secretions travel through the pancreatic duct, which connects with the common bile duct at the major duodenal papilla. An accessory duct is frequently found extending from the head of the pancreas into the duodenum. It opens at the minor duodenal papilla about 2 centimeters above the major papilla.